North Iowa closed out the month of January with back-to-back -back losses, and now it's time to start February with a couple of wins. Hi, everyone. Austin Drowdy with your weekly preview for Friday and Saturday, February 1st and 2nd, coming to you from Hampton, Iowa. Hopefully you've stayed warm and stayed safe. The weather has been so nasty this week. I haven't been at the arena to shoot the preview this week and the arena has been closed regardless. Let's take a look at the matchup for this weekend as your Bulls take on the Granite City Lumberjacks. North Iowa comes in at 24-9-1 on the year, third in the NA3HL West Division, and a point behind Rochester with three games in hand on the Grizzlies. The Lumberjacks are 27-6-2, firmly in first in the West. The rest of the standings show New Ulm creeping up on Alexandria for fifth place with a couple of games in hand of their own. And don't sleep on Breezy Point or Wilmer at the bottom of the pack. Your need to know for this week is not terribly different than it was a week ago. Granite City has won eight of its last ten games against North Iowa, but the last time the Bulls hosted the Lumberjacks for a weekend, North Iowa took three of a possible four points in the Madhouse in Mason City a year ago. Players to watch for this weekend. David Mulligan is the headliner for the Lumberjacks. In six tries, the Bulls have never beaten him, but now he'll take on North Iowa on the Bulls' home ice. Bailey Summers is our other Lumberjack to watch with two goals and two assists in three games against the Bulls this season. North Iowa will look to Carter Wagner. He did not tally a point last weekend. He's looking to get back into the swing of things in his first game on the Bulls' home ice. Our other player to watch is Cam Fagerly with two goals against the Lumberjacks this season. The latest news and notes from NorthIowaBulls.com feature our latest tender signings, including Carter, who is tendered with the Odessa Jackalopes. Also, Harrison Stewart is tendered with the Amarillo Bulls. Dyson Skinner has tendered with the Minnesota Magicians. Congratulations also to our four players and Todd Sandin, headed to the Top Prospects event in Massachusetts in mid-February. Todd will be the assistant coach under Granite City's Brad Wilner at that event coming up uh, in a couple of weeks. Also, congratulations to goalie Connor Pozos, who was called up to Lone Star in the North American Hockey League last week. It's a very crowded goalie picture in Lone Star, as they have four goalies battling for time, including Seth Isley, a former North Iowa Bulls goaltender himself. We'll rock the barn this weekend with Granite City, and Coca-Cola will be helping us celebrate. Kids will be admitted free to our games this weekend, and the Coca-Cola Polar Bear will be on hand on Friday night to help us celebrate and to meet the kids of all ages. Game time both nights is set for 7.30 p.m. with live streaming coverage of both games on Hockey TV. We'll also stream the audio of Saturday night's game on Mixler so you can listen to the radio call of the game, as it were, for free coming up on Saturday. For the latest on North Iowa Bulls hockey, check out social media pages at Facebook and Twitter, and make sure you check out the website, NorthIowaBulls.com. And if you want to pre-purchase your tickets, and we'd highly encourage it for Friday and Saturday night, the address to do that is right there at the bottom of the screen. Until next time, Austin Drowdy for your North Iowa Bulls. We will finally get back to the barn coming up on Friday and Saturday night, and we'll see you at the rink as we take on the Granite City Lumberjacks.